Hey guys, so today we did this look. It's a little bit different, a little bit more fun, a little bit out of the box for me, but sometimes it's necessary to step out of your comfort zone and just do something a little bit more fun. Um, I did use the Sugar Pill um, Sparkle Baby Palette, which is their newest launch, and um, the OCC Lip Tart in Techno Pagan, which is also a new product um, on my lips. So, um, just a little quickie for you guys if you are not interested in listening to me ramble and reviewing this palette for you um click down here like in this little general area and i will have a link that takes you directly into the tutorial um but for those who are interested in listening about this palette definitely just keep on watching so about two weeks ago sugar pill finally released their sparkle baby palette they have been teasing us and playing with us for the past I want to say it's been two years now um, with the release of this palette. They have been posting photographs of it on Instagram, on Facebook for the past year or so. And they have previewed it at IMATS New York, IMATS LA, IMATS London. This palette actually got announced along with the Cold Chemistry and the Electric Cute uh, Chromalus Pigments about two years ago now. And they finally finally released it and it was definitely something that was incredibly worth the wait. I am not someone who loves pastel shades. I am not a girly girl. I do not like the pinks and the light purples, but this palette was so definitely worth my money. The palette itself comes with four shadows and it is $36. Um, by themselves, the shadows of the same size cost $12. So if you buy them separately, Without the palette, it is $48, so you do end up saving $12 in total. You're saving the price of uh, a full size eyeshadow, basically, and, but you're also getting the adorable packaging that comes along with it. So you're saving money and you're getting a little bit more. So if you do like like three out of the four eyeshadows, I would just suggest getting the palette in general. You may not use that last eyeshadow that you weren't a fan of. Who knows, you might fall in love with it, but I would suggest definitely getting the palette rather than just three eyeshadows because it's more bang for your buck. The packaging itself, it's super cute. It is a baby blue slide out case with Sparkle Baby written in pink and then a cute little kitty cat with a little tiara on the top. Um, this actually slides out to reveal the same basic packaging in the cardboard palette itself. On the back, it does have the photographs and the names of the four shadows and their corresponding shades, along with a cute little paragraph describing the palette. And it just says, let your inner princess shine. A high glitz eyeshadow collection for living dolls. Ultra girly, shimmery shades to satisfy your sweet tooth. So this palette is definitely more targeted towards people who love that princessy, really girly look. So um, I would definitely suggest looking at these if you are one of those said people. The palette that actually slides out comes with a really nice mirror. Mine's a little bit dirty because I've been using it. Look, can you see I'm washing face off? Huh. Um, it comes with a really nice slide out mirror. I don't really use this for anything just because I find that I don't see a lot of what I want to see. But it's a really cute shape mirror. And then on the bottom it comes with the four shadows. So the first shade we have on this end it is Kitten Parade which is the cutest name ever. This is a rose gold shimmery super frosty shade. Um, let me go ahead and try and swatch it on the back of my hand. It almost looks a little bit like um, Melon Pigment from MAC. It's very soft and very easy to blend. I have it on my eyelid itself today. Um, this shade, I actually really didn't like it at first because it did seem a little bit more uh, translucent than the other shades that are in this palette. But if you pack it on or if you use it wet or over a base, I feel like this is one of the most usable colors in the palette. It can be used as a highlight. It can be used for a neutral look. It's, it's a very usable shade it's not too crazy it's not too fun but it is fun enough um the next shade i have is frosty which is a nice lavender shade it is a very nice white based lavender it's not very pink based so it does come up across which with a lot of more 
purple if you can see it looks almost white this i do find has a very very slight i don't know if you'll be able to see it um a very very slight pink duochrome to it i find that when i blend it out i do see a little bit more pink than i would have expected to but that makes it so much easier to work with because you can use a lot of pinks on top of it and it will blend a lot easier uh you won't probably won't be able to see it that much but i did use it as my transition color today along with a lot of other pinks and purples so it blended in really really well um it's really creamy it's really buttery it's not really fallout happy but i think the most fallout happy shade in this palette is kitten parade just because it has a lot of shimmer and it's very frosty um but frostine is actually a very beautiful lavender um next we have candy crush which is just a frosty baby blue shade i do wish candy crush and frostine had switched names just because i feel like frostine matches this shade a little bit better than candy crush so you can see it's a very um frosty blue i really like this shade i have this in my lower lash line into my tear duct today and i love it it's very creamy it's very buttery it blends in very well although it's a little bit more shimmery and frosty than kitten parade i find that it's actually not as fallout happy as kitten parade just because it is so tightly packed um I actually don't really like colors like this, but I absolutely love this color. But yeah, um, the last shade we have is Hotsy Totsy, which is this beautiful magenta shade. It is a bit more pink based than it is red based. I find that this is a nice kind of blend of, um, what is this shade name? Love Plus and uh, Dolly Pop from Sugar Pill. I find that it's a really nice in between shade because it is a nice pink, but there is a sort of darker redness to it. So I do find that it's a little bit easier to use rather than just pink or just red. Um, but yeah, overall, I find that. F um, Kitten Parade and Frostine are probably my two favorite shades in this palette. Kitten Parade definitely being my top favorite shade of this palette, which was a surprise because at first I really didn't like it. But um, as you can kind of see, you can see which ones I've dug into the most. I really, really love them. I've already used this palette by itself twice, which I didn't think I'd be using. Um, I thought I would be pairing it up with something more neutral, but I've actually been using it by itself a lot lately. And I'm actually surprised at that. But... Um, yeah uh i do feel like that is it for the actual review um like i said before the palette itself is 36 dollars, which is which is the price for three full size shadows so you do get an extra um shadow for the price as well as the beautiful packaging that comes along with it and the mirror it's just it's so beautiful i really really love this i actually didn't think i would I, I don't know how many times i can say that i didn't think i would love this palette but i absolutely adore it it has become my go-to fun palette lately definitely worth the price definitely worth the uh, worth the wait definitely so if you do think you would use this a lot and or if you're like me that you're an avid fan of sugar pill and you find that you have a lot of their stuff in general i would suggest picking it up it's definitely a um i must have in their collection um just because they don't have these fun really pigmented uh pastel shades um other than that if you don't think you're going to be using it if you're not a fan of pastels if you're not a fan of those types of colors i would suggest not even picking it up because what's the point of spending 36 dollars on something that you're not going to purchase um but like i said i didn't think i would love it and i'm absolutely in love with it so i would suggest at least looking on instagram looking at the swatches um and just seeing what you think about it i do already have pictures of the palette itself and swatches on my instagram um which is going to be linked down below anyways that is it for the review portion of this video yeah if you guys like this kind of format for new um for reviews and new products definitely let me know in the comments down below um but yeah that is it for my blabbing i'm gonna go ahead and shut up and let's just go into the tutorial I've already done my full face of makeup as well as my eyebrows, obviously, and I've already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and just the regular formulation, as always. And I have tight-lined my waterline, I guess? My upper waterline? I don't know. Um, in Starlet's Black Liner, just to make sure there's no weird little skin showing through. 
All right, so we're going to start off with the crease today, and in there we're going to pop a little bit of frosting, which is just a great lavender shade, a very light lavender shade. And I'm just going to take it in a Real Techniques shadow brush, crease base shadow brush. And just popping that lightly into the crease of the eye, not bringing it into the base. This is going to add more of a transitional color rather than anything else, so yeah. And to make sure that it kind of transitions well into the crease, I'm going to take a little bit of ta taco from Sugar Pill on a Sugar Pill um, large eyeshadow brush. And do a very, very light, light layer of this because taco is incredibly pigmented. And to add a little bit more depth into the eyes, I'm going to take 2AM, also from Sugar Pill, on the same brush, just really focusing that on the crease. Just kind of put that right about there. Don't worry about blending it right now because we're going to go in with a clean brush in a minute, just to blend that into the frosting. All right, now just take a fluffy clean brush and just blend that in together. All right, now with the same exact brush you've been using, I'm going to take a little bit of Hotsy Totsy, which is this really pretty like magenta fuchsia color. It's a nice pink, but it leans more on like the purple side of pink. It's less red. So I'm just going to, I feel like this would go well with the colors we're using. So again, just popping that into the crease really lightly. I think I'm going to do almost like a cr uh, cut crease effect, so I'm just placing this on the crease and then we'll go and cut the crease with a different base just to make sure it's really crisp and clean. Now to really deepen that up, I'm going to go in with my favorite purple in the world, which is Poison Plum, also of course by Sugar Pill. And just really place that on the crease. Try not to take this one too far up. Just really focus this one on the crease itself. Alright, now we're just going to go in and carve out the actual eyelid to make sure that the crease is really, really just cut and there is that really sharp line between them so for that I'm gonna go in with a wet and wild color icon um, liner in the color pink um, oh fuchsia pink um, I've never used these and I've I just swatched it on my hand and it feels a little hard so we'll see how this goes This is extremely hard to work with. I, I can't believe I picked this one to put on my eyes. Alright, so now that my eyes hurt because of that liner, oh my god. I am going to go in with another shadow in the Sparkle Baby palette. And this is Kitten Parade, which is a beautiful, beautiful rose gold. I just, I cannot get over this shade. It is amazing so just gonna pop that onto my eyelids with a um, flat shader brush and just making sure that this stays within my actual lid and not into my crease And I'm only pressing that color onto one side of the brush just to make sure I can actually pack it on without the fear of the other side putting the shadow where it doesn't need to be, which is the crease. So. so 
So now to make sure my crease has a little bit more definition where I've decided to just cut it, I'm going to go in again with Poison Plum on a bullet point brush as I scratch myself. Okay. And this is a really stiff brush, and that's what I want. I want a really stiff brush so that I can cut that crease without it going everywhere again. With this look, you just kind of want precision, so, yeah. So, very slowly, I'm going to take this through the crease. And again, just taking this a little bit further out. And then just going in with the Real Technique Space Shadow Brush just to blend it out so it's not a harsh line. Alright, now with a very, very tiny, 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 I think this is a lip brush, I'm going to go in with a little bit of black just to really define the crease, and I'm going to be going in with Sugar Pills Bulletproof Eyeshadow. Mine is broken, which is why I am not opening it for you, because I don't want black to go everywhere. So, yeah. It's going to take the smallest amount. Oh my god, opening this is fucking terrifying. Are you going to open? Okay. Look, like you can tell, you can see it's it shattered. Anyways, I am gonna go in with just the smallest amount, nothing too heavy, in the crease, just to make sure it's super well defined. Just going with the brush, you add a little bit of. Poison Plum on just to make sure that the black is not too much as well as with a small little brush just to go in again with Kitten Parade to make sure the crease remains really well separated. And just to make sure that nothing gets completely lost in translation, I'm going to take a little bit of that frosting, again, that lavender color, and just pop it into the crease to make sure that that's still going to transition well into the um, brow bone area. Now I'm just going to pop a little bit of this blue liner into the front of my waterline. And we're just going to leave that to just chill by itself for like two seconds. And now we're going to go in with a bullet brush a bullet brush, and just go into the same kind of um, transition colors that we were using before on the top into the lower lash line. So first we're going to go with Frostine and just pop that into the lower lash line. Then a little bit of Hotsy Totsy, which is that pink. And then we're going to go in with Poison Plum again. And I'm actually going to take it into a little lip, really, really thin lip brush. I'm going to create a little gap right here where the blue will be. So, yeah. I, I'm going to show you instead of talking through it. And now, on top of that blue liner I said earlier, I'm going to go in with Candy Crush from the Sparkle Baby palette again. And this is a beautiful, frosty, baby blue. Oh my god, that pigment is incredible. Now to finish the eyes before I go ahead and go into my liner and my lashes, I'm going to take uh, Sugar Pills Lumi Pigment, which is a beautiful iridescent, like it looks white but it goes on with a blue uh, dual chrome onto the eyes. I'm going to be using that to highlight. So I'm just going to take a um, fluffy, fluffy angled brush with a very, very slightly tiny amount and just pop that into the brow bone. And 
and into the inner tear duct. And this is just going to help transition that blue that we put in the bottom onto the purples and the pinks that we have on the rest of our eyelid. Alright, so that is it for the eyeshadow itself. I'm going to go ahead and do a winged liner. I'm going to attempt to do a winged liner. And um, yeah, let's see how that goes. Alright, so I just did my liner. I tried to get it on camera. It was just, it wasn't happening. So... I, I've got that on magically. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go and curl my lashes and apply my mascara. As always, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Clump Crusher and my Shiseido Lash Curlers. Lash Curlers? Is that what it's called? Do you ever say something? And like, you say it basically every day. But for some reason, that particular day, it just doesn't sound right. Because that's, that's just what happened. I said lash curlers. And it just doesn't sound like a real world, real world, real word to me. I don't know. Alright, I'm just going to do a very thin layer of these. And I'm going to pop some on my bottom lashes as well. Now I'm just going to pop on my falsies using the lash, uh, House of Lashes Lash Glue. And for my falsies today, I'm going to be using the Precious from uh, Sugar Pill. Just going to use all Sugar Pill today. Um, too bad Sugar Pill doesn't make a lash glue. That would be awesome. Um, but anyways, this is what they look like. They're a little bit fun. They're a little bit more dolly. So I think they'd be perfect for this look. I'm going to put them on off camera because these, I find they're a little bit harder for me to put on. So yeah, I will be right back all right so those are the eyes done i kind of love these lashes i'm not used to lashes this size or like this style but i actually really love them they give it a little bit of a dolly cute vibe so yeah putting them on is kind of a bitch a little easier than i thought but still a bitch so now we're gonna go ahead and finish my face before i go on to the lips i'm gonna go in with my ever so trusty mac lash palette and I'm gonna go into this one right here which is peaches and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this one which is azalea blossom just to get a little bit more of a rosy tone but very very lightly because these these blushes are really pigmented so whatever I have I'm just kind of dusting it on the back of my my hand just to make sure I don't go overboard on my cheeks Now I'm just going to go in with my highlighter again using my ever so loved Double Definition by MAC on the high points of my face. I usually just go in with my finger on the tops of my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, my lips, or my cupid's bow. I always overdo it on my cupid's bow. And then on my forehead. I actually really like this highlighter for this look because it actually kind of goes really well with the um, Kitten Parade. Alright, so now on for the lips. This is going to be interesting and I really hope it works out because I've been wanting to use this lip color for the longest time. The color that I'm going to be using is Techno Pagan from OCC. It's a metallic... Is it Techno Pagan? Did I get Techno Pagan? It is Techno Pagan. Um, it is a metallic, like purpley blue. Um, yeah, let's see how this works. I have nothing on my lips right now except for a little bit of chapstick, which is basically all gone now. So, yeah, I'm just gonna pop this onto my lips. Just a very, very small amount at first, like that much, which I feel like even that is still a bit much. So, yeah. So let's get this going. Ooh. Ooh, girl. All right. The consistency on this one is actually surprising me because it's a lot drier than the regular lip tars that I use. So, 
just a side note. And now I'm just going to go in with my concealer brush with no actual concealer on it. Just to make sure you don't overdo it. Alright, and that is it for the completed look. I actually really like this. Um, I like the color combination on the eyes as well on the lips. I really love this lip tart. It is such a fun color. This lip tart, I can tell it's going to be my new favorite. It's going to get the boss to wear it outside. <sighs> yeah, so that is it for the tutorial using the Sugar Pill Sparkle Baby Palette. I absolutely really love this palette. I actually didn't think I would just because I'm not a huge fan of pastel colors. But I do. I really, really love this. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or requests for any future videos, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling and let you guys go. So until my next video, you guys have a happy and healthy day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!